Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, this is intended for singles. So you can be separated, you, but you do have to be single at this time. If you feel you have a connection with somebody, whether you're single or not, you may also want to watch the uh, Love Connection reading I do monthly. Maybe that will also resonate for you. So what we're going to do here, Libra, is we're going to pull two energies and then we're going to see how these energies will come together. And then the, once the energy is like, once the energies come together. So when I pick the energies, I'm going to put one on each side. I'd say pick a side, whatever side you resonate with. And maybe the other side is either, it could be somebody you know, it could be somebody totally new coming into you, somebody you're separated from, ex, I don't know, whatever your situation is, but you do have to be single so this is a singles reading so let's see what we have for libra welcome everybody hope everybody's doing well uh today is christmas eve but this probably will be out sometime um next week probably or over the weekend or something like that so hope everybody had a nice christmas and happy new year all right so libra so i do say at this time even though it's dated january i do consider all my all my readings um timeless so if you like to go back um we have cancer here on my channel and watch previous playlist or videos readings whatever you're more than welcome to do that and your uh, playlists are listed below in the description box lots of stuff down there also uh decks i'm using social media um how to reach out for personal reading tons of stuff down there so feel free to check that out so this is zodiac oracle so we have cancer is one sign now coming up and now we have Pluto which is Scorpio so we got two water signs here cancer and Scorpio and Pluto uh, is all about like the basics of life life death rebirth sex power control all that kind of energy like and we I do notice here um, Pluto is 22 which is four and then Scorpio uh, cancer is four Wow okay all right so Let's see. This incoming person may be somebody who may be uh, solid, like somebody you can build a solid foundation with because fours are about uh, foundations and uh, the basis of things. So stability. So we'll see. All right. So, and I'm just noticing the wings on the Pluto, like wings, like give you wings of freedom to fly kind of energy. All right, so Libra, what I'm going to do now, Libra, is get like an opening um, energy. And this could be your energy. This could be the incoming person's energy. It could be, uh, be a future mutual energy. But we're just going to get an opening energy here for Cancer. Feeling that one. Moonlight. Travel, romance, potential. 36 is nine. And nines is like that. Nine can be a single energy. Nine can be hope, uh, wishes, dreams coming true. Uh, it can be stress, anxiety. It can be, um, let's see, I'm missing one. Ah, la, 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 la. Uh, being like the wounded warrior, but you still have courage to keep fighting. So something with moonlight, travel, romance, and potential. Hmm, let's see. So I'm putting energy on this side, energy on that side, and I guess uh, Libra. Pick whatever side you feel is uh, you resonate with. Again, this may or may not resonate with every single person. Uh, so please keep that in mind. If it doesn't even resonate yet, it may resonate in the future. So let's get an energy on this side. And let's get an energy on the other side. Well, that's two. I just want one. Okay, that one. So we have on this side here, Remembrance resurfacing of past feelings and emotions 21 is three a three is about you know coming back together or coming together teamwork collaboration reuniting kind of energy three is about working together so hmm. and then this side over here we have 25 liberation breaking free from a negative attachment and we have 52 seven seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number you see the dove there for peace and harmony whatever this person on this side has broken free of whether it's you or somebody else they really feel uh, liberated now. They have peace and harmony because they finally let go and broke a toxic, toxic, I feel, negative attachment. 
Hmm. I mean, you may know this person because you have remembrance over here. It says feelings and emotions of the past. So I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have 18 here. Apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt, fear, eight, nine again. So, and we have nine over here. So I feel like this person over here is apprehensive because they have just gone through something that they let go of something um, that was negative, but now they're feeling liberated and having peace and happiness, but yet apprehensive about moving out into the world and um, maybe starting new relationships or something like that. And maybe you do know this person because it does say, or you could have had past lives with this person. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe your subconscious is like remembering, uh, your past lives with this person. I mean, it could be through dreams. It could be through anything here. So, but somebody is apprehensive. That could be the connection in the future. Somebody being apprehensive, but moonlight, even though it says travel, romance, and, um, potential, the moon always reminds me of like not seeing things clearly, not sure how things will go because you can't see clearly in the dark. It can be about secrets. It can be about um, then secrets coming to light or things coming to be in light, being enlightened, um, in, you know, intuitive energy. So let's see. So let's get some uh, clarity on this side over here. Let's pull some energy on this side. Oh, we got two here. So we got the chariot. There's that Cancer energy over here. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is about, you know, working. So this person is moving ahead on this side. Working ahead, uh, working, getting ahead, taking forward movement. Could be working on themselves, just working very hard um, kind of energy. And then we have the Princess of Wands. This is a fiery, um, good news coming in. Message, fiery, passionate energy. So this, this person, like I said, we got this uh, chariot action, which is about positive movement forward. And then we got eight of pentacles, which is about work. So you could be just be, this side could just be, I say you, but it could be the other person working really hard in yourself uh, and moving forward in life. And then this is good news. There's some sort of good news coming in on this side or passionate messages or something like that. And let's get... Um, on this side, we got liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. So we have the two of wands. So yeah, I feel like they, they've finally broken free. Now they're trying to decide what where they want to go, what they want to do with the two of wands energy. They're feeling fiery and passionate, like they want a new start. They want to go in a new direction. They want to make those plans, efforts for the future. But high priestess, they're kind of keeping to themselves. High priestess, like they intuitively know it's the right thing to do, to do. It's time to get back out there in the world. But yet the high priestess kind of keeps to themselves. They don't really say much. It could be like that moonlit energy, also uh, moonlight, and also being very intuitive. Very secretive. The high priestess can be secretive too. So let's get another energy over here. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Fiery, passionate, brand new beginning here. They're ready for a new start, new beginning. They may just want passion. I don't know. But, uh, you know, they are ready for a new beginning. But I feel like with the apprehension under there, I mean, that just may be some sort of underlying energy on one of these sides here. But let's get another card on this side to see the four of wands. So, yeah, so I feel like this side is waiting for some sort of good news to come in about stability like the four of wands is commitment that's commitment the foundation the basis that's um you know it can be a marriage card it can be um commitment it can be you know coming together or just going out having a good time attending ceremonies celebrations or something like that a wedding or something so maybe some good news comes in and you're invited to, a, the side is inviting to an outing, a wedding, a ceremony, something like that. Because you see travel, you know, the chariot can also represent travel. So maybe this side has to travel also, maybe across water, because we have water here and water there. Could be in the springtime that you uh, are attending, you know, some sort of function, uh, 
wedding or ceremony or something like that. So, because you kind of see here almost gives me the same uh, vibe here with this Ace of Wands with all that uh, ribbon and stuff. So maybe this person also was invited to the same wedding and that's how you meet this person. And we have the Five of Cups energy. So this is feeling, you know, sad and lonely and hurt. Yeah, this person like wants this new beginning, but yet, you know, they may be still stuck kind of like in the past. It's still feeling like the heart and loneliness about that energy. The Five of Cups energy. Could have just happened with them over like the summer. You know, maybe something came to an end and finally broke free from something. And by springtime, they're kind of ready to get back out there. Or it could have been even last summer. And by, you know, come this springtime, they're like, okay, I'm ready. But then still kind of apprehensive. So this person I feel like is ready. Um, the remembrance there, I mean, it could just be, I know, maybe been single for a very long time and you're remembering what it was like to have like love in a relationship in your life. All right. So let's see how these energies will come together. So we got the princess of swords energy. So that is winter energy with the sword energy. It could be, you know, the princess of sword is communication. So it could be you get an invitation like this winter to go to like a, a wedding or a ceremony or something in the fall in the spring because the princess of swords can be you know um i don't know if they send invitations out <laughs> over the internet but hey who knows this day but uh princess of swords can be like things over the internet looking at things over the internet learning something new messages coming in clear communication i feel like it could be an invitation to like i said um may get it this winter for a, a some sort of ceremony in the spring so let's see if these energies come together i feel like you guys will kind of like see each other across the room be like and like eye each other like spying on each other all night because the princess of swords can be like that spying energy do you see she's spying with like a telescope so you may be like eyeing each other like all night long like who is that but then apprehensive about maybe approaching one another all right, so I'm getting like, you may not even know this person. I'm getting like this remembrance. It's like you're going to see them and like feel like, I. why do I feel like I know them? Because you could have had a past life with this person. So let's see. We have the three of wands. It's like people waiting here. We got the king of wands. And we got the nine of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this side here became single because the nine of pentacles is a single energy. So this person over here is definitely single. And I think you've been waiting like for your like Prince Charming to come in or your King of, you know, your King Charming or whatever to come in here with the King of Wands. It's like you see each other and go, oh my God, there they are. You know, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. Somebody maybe just like tall, dark and handsome and fiery, passionate, good looking kind of energy. They really have like presence and you're like, wow, you know, who is that? It's like you've been wishing on a star here, waiting, like, you know, I remember what it is, what it was like to have, like, this love in my life, situations of the past, or just, you could have past lives with this person. So let's see if these energies come together. Again, you see this man sitting here, like, man, woman, doesn't matter. Look, like, look, they're, like, looking, <laughs> looking across the room at each other here with this Princess of Swords and the King of Wands. Somebody has to reach out first, though, extend out that, you know, olive branch or whatever here. So let's see here. Let's get more energy. Wow. We got the, and I just said someone has to take charge here, take the lead, extend out that olive branch. And here we have the emperor. Someone reaching out, taking the lead, taking charge, coming forward. And the star, nice. So that's healing energy, faith, hope, optimism, divinely guided energy, wishes and dreams coming true. Someone's going to say, wow, this person looks like my wish, my dream come true. They're going to intuitively feel that with the star energy. Like this feels like something divinely guided for me. And somebody will get the card share to make the first move. So they don't want to let this opportunity pass by. Wow, so let's get a possible... Um, uh, I got two. I just want one possible outcome here. These two energies. Okay. Oh my God. 
the Ten of Cups, happy home and family, happiness and joy, fulfillment in every single way. You could end up married to this person with kids, pets, family in the future. I feel like if it's this fall um, that you meet this person, things may start to get serious in the summertime, like quick, like very quickly. I'm not saying that, you know, you're going to be, could be next summer that you end up <laughs> married already or something here. Um, but I do see that like in the next 10 years, having like a happy home and family, pets, children being fulfilled in every way. If I feel this side can get over and heal from whatever this was, they liberated themselves from, get over the apprehension. And I think you're going to see this person and know like, I, this is my person. But you may be the one to have to step forward to them and just say, hey, go say hi or whatever here. And it will lead to wish fulfillment and wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy. Wow, let's see what's on the bottom. Princess of Pentacles. So that's offer, message, communication, something stable and grounded. So being very practical, you know, light but stable. Like, again, you going over making, you know, light conversation, you know, that kind of energy. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Again, someone very stable and grounded. Could be you with them, uh, male, female, doesn't matter here. Uh, maybe just talking about work. Maybe this is something to do with, I don't know, maybe somebody, maybe you have a mutual friend at work that you don't even know about. And you're both invited to like a wedding or something here, I feel. Judgment, making a making that judgment call decision. This is uh, the angel brings the soulmates together. Could have had past lives again with this person, as I said, with judgment. Um, resurrection of soulmates here from past lives. And now we have the prince of, princess, no, prince of cups. So this is, uh, I do believe that's the knight of cups. So I'm taking, taking this uh, connection forward, moving it forward. Now we got the ten of pentacles. Wow. So ten... Two tens here, pentacles and cups. Yeah, this could be long-term uh, commitment in the future here, marriage, commitment, happy home and family, sharing everything together, being stable and grounded for the long term, moving forward in love, making that deci decision, soulmates coming back together from past lives. I feel like maybe you could have met this person through a mutual friend at work, and you see like writing an invitation here or something. I feel like you're going to be invited like to the same ceremony or something like that. And you have a mutual friend that you don't even know of. And I feel like this is going to happen in the fall. And things are just going to like move kind of quickly from like fall to summer. And then all of a sudden, like next summer in like 2021, 20, you could be engaged already. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's pull some uh, extra messages for you, Libra, with this deck. Now, we do have the two main signs up there of Cancer and Scorpio, so I don't really want to go over all the other signs in the deck. But, I mean, they could be anybody. Uh, they just have heavy... Those are both water signs. They could just have heavy water in their chart. But they could be another sign. I mean, we have Cancer, which clarifies that. Um, we have Leo Sag Aries. We have Gemini Libra Aquarius. We have... Leo Sag Aries, Aquarius, Aries, Cancer Pisces, what do we have over here, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, clarifies the Scorpio there, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces again, so I mean a lot of signs here, they literally could be anyone, so I wouldn't say not to get too caught up with the signs, but um, I like to pull signs, people like to know the signs, so... So I'm going to pull some extra messages with this deck. I do ask Libra, especially for you new, if you like what you see, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. I do a ton of readings a month. I do, right now I'm doing four different readings. I'm doing uh, a love connection, a singles, a general, and a um, messages either from, you know, your spirits or your angels or something like that. I may go uh, back to doing just singles in love bi-weekly and eliminate the general in the uh, spirit or angel messages for now because they're not really getting um views so but if whatever if you're interested and you check out my channel like what you see please do like share subscribe comment like i said hit the bell 
I do right now also a um, weekly forecast for the elements. It's called Love, Life, and Advice for the Week. I uh, may discontinue those two. I'm not sure as I'm looking at what kind types of readings everybody's enjoying and the ones that aren't getting a lot of views I may discontinue them and maybe somewhere down the road I may start to do them again so we'll see I'm not sure what, how um, the February readings are going to play out I may just stick to love readings that seems to be the most popular but uh, also a quick shout out to all my new subscribers anyone supported the channel in any way whether you reach out for a reading tip donated sent a gift subscribed new whatever here thank you so much couldn't do it without you guys so let's see, what do we have here? We have Summon, which is 13, which is 4, which is, again, the basis, the foundation, stability. Summon is like doing uh, manifesting kind of energy, like calling, energetically calling something into your life. And this could be this energy over here. Or that could be divine energy summoning these soulmates back together also. So, wow. Okay. So, let's see if there's another message here for you, Libra. I think I'm just going to do the bottom of the deck. So, we have listening. And 23 is five. Fives are about change. So, I feel like uh, here, some I and I just placed it on this side. So, I think something on this side needs to change. Like, they need to change their energy, their way of thinking. To come out of this apprehensive energy. Uh, keeping to themselves, keeping quiet, not really getting out there, though they want that, and they're trying to do it. They're still caught up in the past. So, you know, listening to their intuition um, to guide them what they truly need to do is to get back out there. And also, if you come together with this person, to really listen to one another, to, you know, listen to their past, their present, their future, whatever here, really connecting with each other. Wow, Libra. Okay, Libra, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.